Hello viewers, in today's class we are once again going to solve an important problem from definite integrals uh, involving the application of beta gamma functions, right? So here uh, in this class we'll uh, solve this important integral uh, that is 0 to infinity and the integrand is x divided by 1 plus x raised to 6, right? So here uh, we'll see how easily we can uh, solve this integral uh, by uh, making use of the concept of uh, Euler's integrals uh, that is the beta gamma functions, right? So let us start. So viewers, uh, in integration, the method of substitution is a very powerful tool, right? And uh, uh, while dealing with uh, integration, we usually uh, make use of the method of substitution, right? So here, uh, what we will do, uh, we'll also take help of um, the method of substitution and uh, uh, let us call this integral as i, right? Now see, here we have x raised to 6. So what we will do, uh, we'll uh, make a substitution, say u is equal to x raised to 6, right? So when we take u is equal to x raised to 6, then x can be written as u raised to 1 over uh, 6, right? So here we have the power 1 over 6, right? So now uh, let us differentiate x with respect to u. So we have dx over du is equal to uh, the derivative of u raised to 1 over 6, right? So here uh, we can use the uh, famous rule uh, in differentiation uh, that is uh, the derivative of x raised to n is nx n minus 1. Here n is uh, 1 over 6, right? So we have 1 over 6, then we have u and 1 over 6 minus 1, right? So this is 1 over 6, u raised to uh, minus uh, 5 over 6, right? So now dx can be uh, written as 1 over 6, uh, u raised to minus 5 over 6, and here we have du, right? Okay, now see, here the uh, limits of integration vary from 0 to infinity. So accordingly, when we use the method of substitution, uh, we should also change the limits, right? So when x is 0, uh, then uh, the value of u can be calculated from this expression connecting x and u. So uh, u is also equal to 0, right? And when x is uh, infinite, that is when x tends to infinity, then u also tends to infinity, right? So now, uh, once doing uh, all, these, uh, all this stuff, uh, what we will do, we'll write i in terms of u, so we have 0 to infinity. Uh, for x, we can write u raised to 1 over 6. For dx, we can write 1 over 6, uh, u raised to minus 5 over 6. Here we have du. And now in the uh, denominator, we have 1 plus uh, u, right? Because x raised to 6 is assumed to be uh, u. So now uh, let us uh, rearrange the terms. So here 1 over 6 uh, being a constant, we can take it outside the integral sign. So we have 1 over 6, we have 0 to infinity. And now see here we have u raised to 1 by 6. Here we have u raised to minus 5 by 6. So the base are same. So we can uh, simply add the uh, exponents. So we have 1 over 6 plus uh, minus 5 over 6. And in the denominator, we have 1 plus u, uh, and this is du, right? So this is 1 over 6, 0 to infinity, u raised to, uh, here 1 minus 5 is because the denominators are same, 1 minus 5 is minus 4, and we have 6 here, so this is uh, 2 by 3, right? So we can write u raised to minus 2 by 3, and we have 1 plus u, uh, which can be written as 1 plus u raised to 1, right? Uh, because now we are uh, going to change or we can compare this integral 
uh, with our uh, beta function so viewers uh, the beta function uh, is defined like this that is beta mn is given by uh, this integral that is 0 to infinity we have x raised to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus n right and here we have dx right so this is uh, another form of beta function uh, the usual form of uh, uh, beta function is given by uh, 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx right so this is uh, this integral is another form of uh, beta function right and uh, beta function is also known as uh, Euler's integral of first kind right so here I uh, will make use of this result that is the first one right so if we compare uh, this integral with this one then we have here uh, the uh, variable u here we have the variable x right and the limits are from 0 to infinity here also we have 0 to infinity so the variable is not going to make any difference because uh, uh, in integration or in definite integration uh, this is uh, uh, the dummy variable right so now uh, see here we have minus uh, 2 by 3 and here we have uh, m minus 1 right so if we write m minus 1 is equal to minus 2 by 3 we get the value of m as minus 2 by 3 plus 1 so m is uh, 3 minus 2 that is 1 over 3 right and see here we have m plus n and here we have 1 right see we have 1 plus u so 1 plus u can be treated as 1 plus u raised to 1 so this is the significance of this exponent 1 because uh, once we compare uh, this m plus n with uh, 1 uh, we'll get an equation in m and n right and we have already calculated this is 1 over 3 and this is 1 so n is 1 minus 1 over 3 that is 2 over 3 right so n is 2 over 3 m is 1 over 3 so now we can write this integral i as 1 over 6 0 to infinity and see uh, we have u raised to minus 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 is equal to m minus 1 right and m is 1 over 3 so we can write 1 over 3 minus 1 right and here we have 1 plus u raised to 1 right and 1 is uh, m plus n m is 1 by 3 and uh, here n is 2 by uh, 3 right and this is du uh, we can also find out the value of m and n uh, by simply making a guesswork right okay so now uh, see uh, our integral i it resembles with uh, this one right so i is now equal to 1 by 6 beta m n right so m is 1 by 3 and n is uh, 2 by 3 right so now uh, we have to find the value of beta 1 by 3 comma uh, 2 by 3 so now to get the value of beta 1 by 3 comma 2 by 3 I will make use of this relation uh, connecting the beta function with gamma function right so beta m n is given by gamma of m gamma of n uh, divided by gamma of m plus n right so here I can now be written as 1 over 6 uh, gamma of 1 by 3 gamma of 2 by 3 uh, divided by gamma of 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 right so now we have here a 1 over 6 and gamma of 1 by 3 and now see here we have gamma of 2 by 3 right so gamma of 2 by 3 can be written as 1 minus uh, 1 over 3 right so why we are writing gamma of 2 by 3 I uh, will make it clear in the next step now see here uh, gamma 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 
so 1 over 3 plus 2 by 3 is 3 over 3 that is 1 right so here we have gamma of 1 gamma of 1 is equal to 1 right so here we have 1 so now we have 1 over 6 gamma of 1 over 3 and gamma of 1 minus 1 over 3 right so viewers now see uh, we have a very important uh, relation in beta and gamma function which is known as Euler's reflection formula right see uh, gamma of n times gamma of 1 minus n is given by pi divided by sine of n pi right so uh, this relation is also known as Euler's relation right so here uh, see we have gamma 1 by 3 here we have gamma 1 minus 1 by 3 so if we take n is equal to uh, 1 by 3 uh, we'll get uh, gamma of 1 by 3 gamma of 1 minus 1 by 3 right so n is 1 by 3 so we have pi over sine of pi by 3 because we are taking n is equal to 1 by 3 right so we have pi sine pi by 3 now sine 60 degrees is equal to root 3 that is square root of 3 over 2 so we have 2 pi over square root of uh, 3 right so the value of this expression is 2 pi by 3 right so we'll uh, transfer this uh, value to this relation so i is equal to 1 by 6 times uh, 2 pi over square root of 3 right so here we have 2 3s are 6 so i is equal to pi over 3 root 3 right so viewers the value of this integral is given by pi divided by 3 times square root of 3 right so by the application of uh, beta gamma functions uh, we can solve these kind of integrals